So what's up guys, this is me continuing the machete build, hopefully the handle will be on by the end of this video, and if you couldn't tell the location of my like workshop area has changed, I moved rooms around, and I don't know if you can see my face or anything when I go over there and stand, I don't know. Your view might not be too well in this video because I'm still working on getting stuff set up for in here. I'll eventually have a good place to set up for like a camera angle. So I'm going to be cleaning up the machete and doing the final grinding work on it right now. And then hopefully later on in this video, the handle, I will be doing the handle. I'll probably figure out exactly how I'm going to do that off video. And then put it together on video. I might try riveting it or something. But I'm going to make it out of wood. And also I want to show you this thing I made. Made this thing. It's a knife. It's not the best metal to use, I think it's like aluminum, I'm not sure. But I'm going to make this out of a better metal, when I get some more metal and some better materials. I just used some like medical tape on it. And this is just to see if the design feels good in the hand. If it does, light like this. This one will probably be for testing, and then when I make a better one out of something else it will probably be for I'll probably test the better version too but yeah but the better version will probably mainly hang on the wall and I'll use it for actual work on chopping and stuff now let's get to work on this machete I don't know if you can see me too well I don't know if I'm in camera view my face is comment, you can see my face or something. This window will probably have a curtain on it eventually to cover up the light. Don't know how well you can see me right now, but I'm trying to figure this out. Which one I want to do here. I think I want to put it like somewhere in the middle. I'm gonna have to get a new vice eventually. This vice is a bit messed up. Okay, let's plug in the grinder. Make sure it's not turned on while I plug it in. If you can see my face, I do have safety glasses on under this mask. I gotta get this all situated better so I can actually do better video on the build.
my gosh, I was not paying attention there. You probably couldn't see that, but I almost put the grinder on my leg as it was still spinning. That's... Pretty good for up there. That's probably all I'm going to do right there, honestly. And the problem is that I don't know how to fix because I kind of don't have the, all the equipment I need for this kind of stuff. Yeah. That I'm going to walk over there to make sure. Go to the oven. Okay, I just have to check every once in a while to make sure it's still videoing. So sometimes it messes up and stuff. Also, another thing. This, if you could see it is the same type of metal as the machete but this is going to be a sword I already got the point and stuff started yeah and it's going to be a sword I'll do a video a build video for that and then I'm just going to do a couple of mini updates on some stuff and then I got another video coming up that involves these two objects right here. This cheap, like $20 zombie killer machete and this shovel handle that has electrical tape for a handle. It involves that and then other pieces of the shovel handle will have other pieces of this machete that I cut off put on it. So. For the machete right here, I'm mainly done doing that on the back. And so, sorry guys, my glasses, my safety glasses fogged up. Trying to fix those. And the sharpening will be the last part I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna try to do some more on this. I'm probably gonna try cleaning it up some more now, and then the handle is probably the next part I have to do, which shouldn't take too much time. Figure this out now. I'm gonna attempt something. Hope it works out. So I take my clamp here. Clamp it on the handle right there, and then clamp it on this end. And then I'm gonna try to clean it up while it's right there. Sorry guys, I have to stop. I'm having some mask issues. So, pretty much you get what I'm doing. So I'm going to do the rest of this cleaning it up off camera. I'm not the best at it. And you can see all the different grind marks and stuff where 
still getting used to doing that stuff right there. And then I gotta, I'm probably gonna stop right there, not go down any, or I might, actually I'm probably gonna stop, yeah, like right where that begins. Probably draw a line there. And then clean the other side end right there up. I'm gonna do that off camera or off video so I can do it better because my mask keeps messing up and slipping off my face and I'm not ready to reveal my face on YouTube. So yeah. Now I got to move the clamp down so I can clean the end up. Now to flip it over and do the other side. And something else I found. Some rust. Let me focus in. Some rust and stuff that I gotta clean up. And I forgot that I did most of this side already in one of the parts. So all I gotta do is just mainly that and clean up the rust. I might be able to clean the rust off with a piece of sandpaper. Because I don't think it's that bad. It just looks like a surface layer of rust or something. I gotta figure out some problems that this thing's having. Like, there's a bend. Like a weird bend type of thing. I've shown it before, but... Uh, I might have... It might have... I might be able to fix it with the vise. I don't know. I don't know what type of wood this is, but it was like a... Porch railing. piece of railing from, like, a porch that I... Split in half with a machete because it works for the. And I'm gonna do some like grinding work on it, maybe take a dremel to it. Make it look nice when I get it attached. For now, I'm gonna just sand this side down and make it smooth. I don't. This handle might eventually break off, but it... I really wanna finish this series so I can do the sword. It kinda sucks that I'm like doing a rush job at the end for the handle and all that. But I'm going to take my time on sharpening. So those are the two pieces of wood that's going to be on there. I'm figuring out how to attach it now. I'm thinking of drilling holes through and then using these. Like a rivet type of deal. Just wooden pieces I found. I think that's what I'm going to do. So guys, just because I really want to get this handle attached, I'm just going to use some Gorilla Glue to hold it on. This handle is not going to be a permanent one for this machete. And this is just my first machete build. I will do better, it's just I want to finish up the handle and I want to be out chopping stuff with this. But this handle I know is going to break, because it's wood. And I really want to get to the sword, because I'm excited for that. So while the handle stuff, the glue's drying on that handle, I decided I'm gonna cut this cheap machete I bought. It's a uh, machete thing. I'm not sure if that this is classified as machete or if it has a different name. Don't mind all these. These X's are just random. Well, I was trying out what I wanted to do with it, but those X's I'm not doing anything with. Also, another thing I want to show you, this thing, I'm going to clean it up, but it was cut. It's going to be like a little pole arm looking type thing. I know this metal is not that good, I think it's aluminum, I can't remember. And I'm not good at telling, I don't even know how to tell what metal is what. Clean it up, open it, and then it's just going to be something for fun messing around with in the backyard cutting up bottles and eventually I'll be buying more coconuts so look forward to some coconut smashing so guys the handle portion dried on there and it feels pretty secure I'm gonna attempt to grind it with my angle grinder and I'll show you guys if that works out if it doesn't I'll just tell you it didn't work out so the grinding if my angle grinder actually works very well, this side is basically what I'm going to keep it as. I'm going to just take some sandpaper to it, smooth it up. But this side, I got to remove some more material because 
see how thick that is compared to that. And then I'm going to probably fill in the gaps like that with some stuff. It wasn't lined up the best. It's pretty lined up though. But let's see. Right there you can tell. And the metal down in there didn't get lined up right. But I'll finish that up and then show you guys the finished product. So guys, I haven't finished the knife yet. It's not going to be in this video. I'm going to make a little... Another part to this series. And finish up the knife. All I really got to do is figure out how to sharpen it better. And put a better handle on it. Because right here... You can see the mouse moving. That is electrical tape. I removed that. And I tried to do like heat treating on this. But it didn't work out too well. I don't know heat treating too well. And all that. How that works. But the final part to this series of build videos. The machete and the knife build. Will be just on this knife. How, no, me finishing it up and then that will be the end of this series and then I'm going to move on to before I do my sword build videos I'm going to do a quick a quick knife throwing knife thing I guess I'm going to cut out some throwing knives out of saw blades and then I'm going to do the sword build and I have an amazing video idea planned for when I get that finished for testing it out and all that. It's going to be great if I get it all done right.